Hello students, in our day-to-day -day life, we come across many substances which are mixed with something that we do not want. As for example, the air we breathe. Now, the air that we breathe in is a mixture of many gases, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water vapors, huge amount of dust particles and certain other pollutants. And from this mixture, we want only pure oxygen to respire. So, what do you think? Do we breathe in oxygen only? Well, we inhale air containing all gases and our lungs and internal body system takes up oxygen preferentially and absorbs it. So, we can say that our lungs are the ones that separate the gas that we want, that is oxygen, from the other components of the air that we do not want. So, this is one example where substances are separated by our body mechanism. Now, can you name some more examples from your daily life where we separate a substance that is useful from a mixture of materials? And what is the need of separating such substances? So, the most common example is separation of tea leaves from a hot liquid while preparing tea. And what do we use for separating such substances? Yes, a strainer, right? Now, many of you must have seen your mother separating the small pieces of stones, seeds of other grains, small side stalks, etc. from rice and pulses. So, this is the method where we just separate the undesirable substances from the desirable ones by taking them out using our hands. Now, you all are quite familiar with this device and you all must have seen it in your homes, schools and offices. And what do we call it? Yes, RO. And it is nothing but a water purifier system which separates salt and other contaminants such as bacteria from water. Now detailed working of RO will be taught to you in your higher classes. So there are a lot of examples in your day-to-day -day life where you witness the various processes of separation of substances. And before using a substance, we require to separate harmful or non-useful substances that may be mixed with it. Now most of the times, Unwanted substances which are removed from a mixture are often used where they are needed. Can you recall such examples? Well, yes. Petrol and diesel are such substances which exist in our nature as a thick dark liquid of an unpleasant odor called as crude oil. Now, this crude oil in its mixed form is not of much use to us. We separate its constituents such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, bitumen, etc. Petroleum gas in liquid form is called LPG. It is used as a fuel in home and industries. Now, we use petrol and diesel as a fuel for driving our vehicles. And we can also make many useful substances such as ointments, candles, Vaseline from paraffin wax, which is one of the constituents of this crude oil. So we can either have something really useful mixed with something useless, as we have seen in the case of water contaminated with dirt, salts and certain microorganisms. Or we can have a mixture of two or more useful things which cannot be used appropriately when they are in mixed form, as we have seen in the case of crude oil. So, in some or the other way, we have to separate substances as per our requirement and demand. Now, the next question arises that what is the need of separating substances of a mixture? Well, students, we separate substances of a mixture because among different components of a mixture, there are many substances which are harmful or not useful for us and to remove such harmful or undesirable components, we need to separate them. 
So that's all about this module where we have studied about the separation of substances and in our next module we shall discuss about the methods of separation.